Hi Virgo, this is going to be your tarot reading for the month of November 2022. Uh, this can apply if you're a Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate with you. I do want to mention that this is a general reading, so not all the messages may resonate. Sorry, a bunch of cards just flew out, so I'm going to get them. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is a general reading, so not all the messages may resonate. So take what resonates and keep uh, aside the rest. Uh, I'm also taking bookings for personal readings right now. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, definitely get me uh, get in touch with me on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've also started doing counseling sessions, uh, which is uh, a more in-depth look at any particular challenge or challenges that you may be facing in your life. So you can contact me, we do a deep dive, and I use holistic methods to give you like practical recommendations that you can use to overcome these challenges. All right, so Virgo, let's look at your cards. The first card is the Knight of Wands. It's coming up as a reversal. The second one is the Moon. The third one is the Page of Cups. The next one is the Queen of Cups. And then the last one is the King of Pentacles. All right, so Virgo, this is a month of making your money because the king of pentacles has shown up and it's pretty prominent that's like the first card that really stood out to me so this is really a month about your money finances making money saving money budgeting you know making sure that you're not overspending or just making sure your finances are in order i think that's what november is all about for you but at the same time there are a lot of emotions in store for you because I'm seeing the moon I'm seeing the page of cups I'm seeing the queen of cups this is very watery energy and uh, it kind of makes sense because we we have the south node in Scorpio we have Venus Mercury Sun you know all of it in Scorpio so this is Scorpio season going on right now and this is a time to really reflect on um, where you see yourself going, where your emotions are taking you, if there are any delusions that you are facing about yourself or of other people around you. For example, a lot of secrets may be uh, coming to light during Scorpio season for you, Virgo. Um, maybe family secrets, things that you thought were pretty normal and now you're looking at it from a different lens. Or maybe, uh, like for example, maybe a relative or somebody in your family tells you that, you know, this person used to do X, Y, Z and it completely takes you by surprise because you never looked at, it, look, looked at them that way. You know, something like that. I'm just giving an example, but like a lot of secrets may be coming to the fore during Scorpio season for you. Um, there is an energy of duality here. And I say this because the moon is about that. You know, it's about being in two minds, but it also represents delusion because again, it's that, you know, um, uh, what do you call it like uh, the mutable energy right like a Pisces the moon is the Pisces card and Virgo you also are a mutable sign so there may be something that you're contemplating where you're in two minds about something so that can be a little bit confusing because you may not know which direction to go towards so it can be a little bit nebulous uh, both of the both of these parts may seem to be right but then it it requires a lot of careful consideration but i would say trust your intuition like don't over analyze it like virgo you are ruled by mercury so sometimes you may have the tendency of over analyzing a situation logically like really trying to dissect it really trying to take it apart and see okay do i really need to do this so it's it's a very rational way of looking at things but sometimes that doesn't really help because you can slice and dice something a thousand different ways and you can dissect it a thousand different ways and it may not still make make sense after the whole exercise you know what i mean so it, then you may be stuck in this analysis paralysis where you're like okay i've spent so much time dissecting this and figuring out what i need to do but i'm still you know back to where i started or i don't know exactly where i need to go so that can that can definitely happen uh, in the month of november so i would just say trust your intuition like instead of being in your mind in your head which sometimes you can do like you tend to overthink and sometimes over worry that is that virgo neptune sorry virgo and mercury influence um 
it's it's more important i feel to go into that feeling energy or that intuition and really let that be your guiding light especially because i'm seeing the page of cups coming in and the queen of cups coming in so you know you may like in the month of november the beginning of november you may go through this period where you are overthinking about something or you're over and over analyzing the situation and you're not able to figure out what you need to do regarding a situation or a person or whatever and what the universe is saying is to look at your blessings because page of cups is really about looking at what you have right in front of you right so sometimes it's not even about uh, dissecting something and figuring out analyzing something it's really about just looking at what are your options right in front of you right now and how can you maximize those to to create the momentum that you need you know so as just as an example let's say you want to work out more and you want to eat healthy uh, you may think okay what workout do i need to do what are the foods i need to eat and like you may do a ton of research on youtube or like just google up the things that you need to google up and you may get a lot of answers different answers and that may confuse you more whereas the page of cups is saying just look at what you have in front of you do you have equipment that you can use to start working out today like do you have provisions with you that you can create uh, use to create like healthy meals at home starting today so it's about looking at what you have right in front of you to start doing those things today rather than procrastinating because sometimes that over and over and analytical thinking can result in procrastination and that just like delays your goals so i think it's really important to just look at what you have in front of you and and get the ball rolling basically and the queen of cups is also telling you to really sit with your emotions because november can be a bit of an uh, emotional time for you virgo so uh, it's really important to sit with yourself and also Uh, just pat yourself on the back for you know everything that you've overcome and all the trials and tribulations that you've overcome to reach this point that you are at right now i think uh, a lot of the times virgo you can be so self critical and so harsh on yourself sometimes that you forget to congratulate yourself of how far you've truly come like your journey till now and you know what you've had to overcome to reach this point so i think it's really important to celebrate yourself and celebrate that aspect of yourself because let's face it you have gone through a lot of stuff to reach where you are today and it's all good i think um, do, the more you do that the more you congratulate yourself and pat yourself on the back and really take a moment to appreciate your journey and how far you've grown that just opens up a whole new world of blessings for you because it is a it is a form of gratitude like it's not it's not like saying i'm grateful for the things that i have but it's also being grateful for the work i've done on myself you know your growth your in a your in a journey and awakening and all of that good stuff so yeah definitely take some time out during the month of november to do that for yourself i'm also seeing the knight of wands as a reversal right at the beginning of this reading now to me it doesn't really signify sagittarius energy per se because you know the knight of wands is sagittarius energy so quite literally this could have been somebody with strong sagittarius that was a part of your life in the past it could have been a friend it could have been like a romantic partner or whatever but i don't think that's your you know that person is in your life in the in the present moment but the knight of wands here it really stands out to me as this energy of being very impulsive and like this almost like eight of wands energy you know like this forward momentum like a lot of things happening all at once like just charging ahead that's like the knight of wands energy and there is a lot of reckless energy to this card as well knight of wands is is, is very reckless compare that compare that energy to the temperance which is also sagittarius but it has learned to rein in that energy it has learned to uh stabilize that energy and really be balanced and even keeled and that is like the higher octave of sagittarius energy but you know uh, in its initial stages sagittarius can be very reckless very impulsive foot in the mouth uh, you know just saying things bluntly when they don't mean it so uh, i feel like in the month of november you are really applying the brakes uh, towards your momentum or what you want to do going forward i think you're putting the i think you're applying the brakes because you really want to take a moment to think about and really think things through as to where you want to go ahead with your life whether that's a job whether that's a business whether that's a relationship 
family, friends, you know, whatever it is. I think you're really taking a pause and you're really taking a moment to figure out what direction your life, uh, like you want your life to take. Because it's one thing to make plans and, you know, be on this daily uh, to-do checklist and like, I need to do this, I need to check check this off my list. But it really uh, requires us sometimes to just sit back and look at the overall trajectory our life is headed in and, and realize, okay, this is, do I really want my life to go this way? Or is this really the right path for me? Sometimes you really need to take a step back. And I think that taking a step back is what you're doing in the month of November, uh, which is really great because now you have the opportunity to really think things through. Now you really have the opportunity to look at what's in front of you. What can you uh, maximize when it comes to being resourceful and, and still going ahead with your goals and priorities? And it's also about sitting with your emotions and just that feel good energy of how far you've come and like you know like putting the brakes a little bit on that self-critical energy and always having to be efficient and productive like earth sign energy right like always being on the grind it's a little bit about uh, putting the brakes on that and just maybe like something as simple as just sitting with a cup of coffee or like tea and just uh, just enjoying that moment right like those 10 or 15 minutes uh, of your day just taking that time out and really dwelling in that moment. I think something uh, like simple things like that can really, really make a difference in the way we move through our lives. Uh, so yeah, that's something that I wanted to speak about. Uh, that's your overall energy for the month of November. I do want to do one last card for the overall energy for you for the entire month. So what's the overall energy for Virgo for the month of November 2022? What does Virgo need to know? For the month of November. Right. So three of cups is coming up as your overall energy. And I do feel like if you can go out and socialize and meet your friends and celebrate life. I think rather than being stuck in this, you know, this moon energy, which can be analysis, paralysis, overthinking, stuck in your head. And like just this worrying, stressful energy. I think it will be really helpful to go out there and meet new people, whether that's friends, your family, just reconnect with people around you in your social circle. And uh, that is really going to recharge your energy. It's going to give you a new perspective. And actually, I feel like if you've been overthinking about a situation or if you've not been able to get answers about something and you've been trying to figure it out all on your own, sometimes it really helps to have a sounding board and like talk to your friends about it and tell them that, you know what, I'm, I'm thinking about this. What do I need to do? What do, you, what do you think? And sometimes you may get a completely different version or a completely different perspective that you never even considered. And it gives you like an aha moment. And you're, you're like, oh, wow, I never, I never thought I could do that or I never considered that. And that gives you a whole uh, new direction to work with right so that's your overall energy for the month of november if you like this reading do be sure to give it a thumbs up because this uh, your likes really help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm and help me to present similar content to other people who are looking for this and also if you haven't subscribed do consider subscribing i post videos quite regularly on astrology and tarot and if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely get in touch with me on facebook and email both the links are in the description box and i'll see you soon on my next video thanks a lot for watching Bye bye